An appointment in the Outlook calendar is a block of time that applies only to me, unlike a meeting, which applies to many people. So let's dive right in and create an appointment. The first way to create an appointment is the easiest. I can simply come up to my calendar, click in the time slot I want, and simply start typing. I can hit enter when I'm done, and I've created a really basic appointment. I can change a reminder on that by coming up to the ribbon tab and choosing the reminder that I want for this appointment. It's going to default to 15 minutes. I can actually turn it off by selecting none if I don't want any reminder at all. But let's create an appointment with a little more detail. I'm going to go to the Home Ribbon tab and select New Appointment. The first thing I'm going to do is type in my subject. This is what I'm going to see in my entire calendar view. I can come down here and put a location in it. This is just a reference for me. Now I can come to the start time and the end time and choose a date and a time. I can click the calendar icon and I get a calendar picker. I select the day and now I can click the drop down in the time and choose a start time and an end time by using the scroll bar. I can come down here in the body field and this works just like an email does. I can put any notes I want about the appointment. I can even put attachments in by clicking on the Insert tab and choosing Attach File. I can then browse my file system to find anything I want, select it, hit Insert, and it gets put in. Now there's a couple more things I can do with this. I'm going to go back to the Appointment ribbon tab, and the first thing I'm going to do is set a reminder for this. I'm going to change the reminder to 30 minutes so I can be reminded of it. And I can also click this padlock if I want to mark the appointment as private. This means that if anybody's looking at my calendar from their computer, they won't be able to see the appointment or the details of it. I can toggle it on or off by clicking the padlock icon. I can also decide how I want this to look on my calendar. If I'm going to be out of the office, I can select Out of Office, Busy, Tentative, Working Elsewhere, or Free. This is going to affect how people see me if they want to book me for meetings. I'm going to leave it as the default of busy. Now, this coffee meeting happens every Monday at the same time at the same place. So I'm going to set it as a recurring meeting. I can click on Recurrence. And here's where I get a bunch of options to change how often this happens. This way, I don't have to create an appointment for this every Monday. Outlook can do it for me. I can change the start and end times if I want, but I'm happy with the way I had set it in the original appointment. Here's where I set the recurrence pattern. For example, this happens weekly, though I could change it to monthly or even yearly. So it occurs every one week on Monday. If it was a bi-weekly meeting, I can simply change this to a two, and now it's only going to show up on my calendar every other Monday. I can even fine-tune this further by selecting multiple days, for example, if it happens twice a week. Here's where I select the range of recurrence. I have three options. I can put in a specific end date if I knew the end date of this coffee meeting, or if I didn't know what the exact date was that it ended, but it was only going to happen about six times, I can select End After Six Occurrences. Finally, if I just know this thing is going to keep happening forever until I decide to stop going to it, I can select No End Date. Then it will always be on my Outlook calendar every Monday. When I'm happy with my choices, I can click OK, hit Save and Close, and now my appointment's on the calendar. I can tell it's been added because if I come here to the date picker, any day that I have an appointment on is listed in bold, and I can see now that all my Mondays are filled up. If I click on them, sure enough, here's my appointment. The arrows mean that it's a recurring event, and the paper clip means that I've attached a file to it. I can delete these at any time by clicking on an appointment and hitting the delete key on my keyboard. It's smart enough to recognize that this is a recurring event. So it's going to ask me if I want to delete the entire series or just this occurrence. This is great if I have to cancel just one week, but I still want to keep all the other ones on my calendar. I'm just going to delete this occurrence. Now it's deleted this one, but left all the other ones intact. Now there's one more thing I want to show you. Suppose you have something happening on your calendar, such as a supervisor coming in on site, and you want to mark it on your calendar, but you don't want to affect your free or busy time, and you don't want it to interfere with any of your time slots, we can create what's called an all-day event. I'm going to go back up to the Home Ribbon tab and select New Appointment. 
Now I can type my subject. I can select the day that this is going to happen and select all day event. Now you'll notice two things have happened. The first thing is, is that the time slots are all grayed out because this is going to happen all day. The second thing is, my busy time has defaulted to free. This means that I can still have this on my calendar, but it's not going to affect people booking me for meetings. If I hit save and close, I can see that it's appeared at the top of my calendar. It's not even interfering with any time slots. It's really useful for things like people coming on site. So that's how you create appointments, reminders, recurring events, and even all-day events in your Outlook calendar.